implementing solar systems into your space can give a sense of empowerment, liberating yourself of power lines, rising electricity rates, and maintaining security of power in your homes, says solar power provider Travsol. As a non-renewable energy source, over time, electricity bills increase with the removal of subsidies. However, solar-powered systems guarantee price-protected power because it is renewable energy. But to begin investing economically in solar, a good place to start would be installing a solar water heater. Well, a lot of people don't know that anything with heating elements actually consume most of the electricity in your home. So therefore, one of the de um, definite things you should start off with is a solar water heater which reduces your electricity bill and even allows you incentives from the government. Capable of holding 25 gallons of hot water, here's how it works. Solar vacuum tubes absorb sunlight and generate heat. Inside this glass tube is a copper probe which absorbs the sunlight and generates a lot of the heat and looks to transfer it into the water into the tank. As heat travels upward, this built-up heat inside the copper probes travels up into the tank. The heat transfer occurs through conduction, exactly where the copper probe meets the sockets connected to the tanks. This unit does not have to be installed on the roof. It can be installed on the ground once we have sufficient pressure in our water line and there is sufficient sunlight to generate heat into the water heater. Another interesting factor to note are the two types of mechanisms. An open loop system allows water to run in and out of the tubes to absorb the heat from the sun. A closed loop system will have all the water stored inside a vessel and have the heat transferred. The closed loop system does not have leaks, eliminating water damage. However, with the open loop system, in the event of a broken tube or loss of pressure would mean a significant loss in temperature. We're trying to produce hot water. So the more pressure we can maintain, the more heat that we can retain and allow hot water for up to three days, no sunlight. These heaters can go up to 90 degrees Celsius and needs only an annual maintenance to ensure there's no debris or corrosion in your water lines. At the back of the tank are outlets where they check these levels. Here we have the magnesium anode rod to detect any form of corrosion. Here we have a non-return check valve so when water enters it will not be able to return back into the system. A temperature pressure valve where when water reaches up to approximately 90 degrees Celsius, this will now spool out steam, allow, hot, uh, allow cold water to re-enter to balance some of the temperature in the water. Here we have a temperature sensor. With these solar water heaters, you actually get a sensor that you can live monitor the, the, the temperature of the hot water that is inside the tank. And then last but not least, we have our hot outlet, which will deliver solar-powered hot water to our homes, bathrooms and showers. Living in a suitable climate like ours, a clean, sustainable way to go is to start with solar-powered systems, like the solar water heater. I am Gio Loren Gomez, keeping it green for TTT News.